Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Patriots going up against the Eagles. Larry, this 2017 season has given us enough thrills to last a lifetime, and now only one game remains, and it's the one we've all been waiting for as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to coverage of Super Bowl 52 from two-year-old U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon, along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rearview mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that part. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. The eyes of the world upon us tonight as Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis is underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And ready to bring out the Eagles' offense as their quarterback, Nick Foles, helped guide them to that huge win over Minnesota, 38-7, to get to the Super Bowl. Does Foles have one more rabbit? in that hat. I think that he's got a great chance of having that rabbit in his hat because now he has his confidence back. He was a starting quarterback in the NFL. Led his team to a playoff year in Philadelphia and went to the Pro Bowl with 27 touchdowns and only two interceptions. So we know he can get it done. If he plays the way that he has since Atlanta, 23 of 30 in that game, the monster game against Minnesota, yeah, he might have that one last rabbit that we might see on Super Bowl Sunday. Brought up an interesting point, though, that other playoff appearance in 2013. So three playoff starts for him now. Five touchdowns, no interceptions. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. heading back out there. Now a 
former fifth round pick of the Eagles. This is Deion Lewis. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second down following the run. Brady to throw on second down. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out. Things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. So here we go, first and ten now. Throwing on first down is Brady. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. And a good display of footwork will only get him just inside the five to the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. On second down, here's Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. To open the scoring in Super Bowl 52, and the Pats have taken the early lead. And we have seen the first touchdown to Super Bowl 52. The first 51 Super Bowls, a team that scored first, they won 34 times out of 51. So two-thirds of the time, but just gaining that momentum's got to be huge in this game. It's massive, and that's what everyone's looking for. The first big break of a game, the first advantage of the game, and that, too, that tends to carry a team, right? Most of the time, you're able to sail on that for a while, and that's what you're looking for. The first touchdown, you feel like you're in great shape. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. You don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys.
And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. On play action, they'll throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Third and long defense with no fear, they brought the pressure. Zero fear at all. That means they feel really good about the guys who are going to cover. But the biggest one is they think their pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. Fielded at the 33. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Patriots take over. You know, there's an interesting nugget that you unearthed as the Patriots come back out here on offense. Uh, the Pats, 22 starters in Super Bowl 51 against Atlanta. Only half of those guys started against the Jags in the AFC Championship game. They remake their roster better than anyone in the league. Because you remember when they beat Seattle in, their, in the Super Bowl a few years ago? They come back two seasons later. Very few of those guys left on the roster come back and do it again. I think a big part of it is they know how to coach, they know how to teach, they know how to identify talent, bring in the right guys. And let's face it, it's the same head coach, the same owner, and maybe most importantly, same quarterback on all those teams. Yeah, that helps. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Brady now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not forced that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. He'll try again on second down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's brought down. Brady connecting with Cooks for the Patriot first down. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They try again with Lewis. Shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, Are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Here's to the top and about the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. 
Chris Hogan, 26 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. The point after try for Goskowski. And it's good to make it 14-0. So the drive there took six plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think they're going to stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Speaking of, LeGarrette Blunt, he's back in the Super Bowl in a different jersey, as is Chris Long. Interesting storylines there. How about that? Both of them won the Super Bowl last year with New England. Chris Long left for Philadelphia in pursuit of probably a little bit more playing time, better scheme fit. Blunt ended up in Philadelphia as well, and now here they are with a chance to flip it around. Deion Sanders did it, yep. right? He went from, what, Dallas to the no, 49ers to Dallas. To Dallas, right. And Ken Norton Jr. did it going from Dallas to the 49ers. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins in different jerseys. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Foles. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Hey, Charles, let's switch gears here for a second. Talk Super Bowl jerseys. Did you know that 12 of the last 13 teams that have won the Super Bowl have worn white? That I knew. My question was really how many of them chose to wear white when the option was to wear their home, you know, darker jersey. Right. And I know the Broncos flipped over and wore white against Carolina. And now look at him go. A gain of 39 that time. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody has that ability, they want them on their team. Now a play fake here on first down. Now a hit and Foles loses the football. It's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three.
reminder, coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Foles. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Trey Burton from three yards out. There the Eagles are back with it a score. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. And now out come the Patriots. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Over the middle, it's Amendola. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. to punt as he gets this one away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's Nick Foles as he heads back out to work. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well. But the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way. Screen pass to Blunt. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They'll set up a throw. And he will not be able to get away as Foles is taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He stayed alone. Jay Ajayi. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. This is fielded at the 27. And now running right through it. Nifty footwork at the 45. 
So these two teams will head back to their respective locker rooms here in Super Bowl 52 from Minnesota. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. The Eagles offense has been on the field more, but it hasn't led to a big lead. The Patriots are competing hard, and it's still very much in doubt which side will walk away with the Lombardi Trophy. Here we go, let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Now following the pick, they'll look to the end zone here, and this four play drive goes for a touchdown as they put the first points on the board. Patriots line up at the 26. Hogan's got the reception, and this five play drive goes for a touchdown. That puts them up by two touchdowns. About halfway through the second, Ertz is by himself here, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the 23-yard line. Later on the drive, Ertz is found on the quick pass, and he capped off the long drive with a touchdown. Now trailing by seven. That'll do it from our EA Sports Studios. The second half of Super Bowl 52 still to come as we kick it back over to Brandon and Charles in Minneapolis. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Throwing now is Brady. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. Third down here. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he's able to get a hand in and knock it away. Throwing his Brady on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. is the punt team now as this one sent away. And taken right on the 30. A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because uh, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way, so he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. And he couldn't hang on. Almost an interception there defensively. Instead, it brings up fourth. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. 
Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now Brady throwing on second down. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And now he'll let this one go deep. Back over the middle. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Nick Foles as he heads back out to work. And he has not really been able to have a lot of comfort back there in the pocket. Pressure's been coming at him a lot, hasn't it? And they've got to figure out how to tamp down that pressure. How do they decrease it? Is it getting rid of the football quicker? You know, shorter drops? Maybe they do something different with their pass blocking and their protection schemes. Maybe you meet them on the line of scrimmage instead of retreating to try and protect your quarterback. They've got to figure something out, though, because you cannot let your guy get hit that much. Not if you intend to win. Yeah, I know they'd like to erase that video and those four sacks that they've seen so far. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. of his power but not a whole lot of space down at the 30. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. A really nice gain of 25 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run, because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. And now a first down following that long game. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now blow. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. shotgun he'll look to throw and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown 
Zach Ertz, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. First and ten, here's Brady. Rifles one complete into the hands of Gronkowski. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. On first down, Brady. Flushed out right. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Here's Brady. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains in Super Bowl 52. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. third down. Brady. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They go play action here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The official 
officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And he'll take it just outside the 40. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Now if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. On play action, it's Brady. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. Second down following the incompletion. By 20! By 20! Throwing again. Brady. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Got a man. It's Amendola. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Brady again here on second and ten. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. On third down, Brady. And Amendola with a catch. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Rob Gronkowski, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots have taken the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. The second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Goskowski for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. 
These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wind up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? Alshon Jeffrey past the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, 81 yards. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. Now still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. Hey, 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 hey. Two minutes to go here in Super Bowl 52 from Minneapolis. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the linebacker, Michael Kendricks. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. We've had some wild Super Bowl finishes recently. 49 in Arizona, 51 in Houston. Now this one. They'll run it here with Blunt. And a short gain here down to the 22. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Right. 
Again, here's Blum. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Eagles on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. This is Ajayi. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. There's Foles. And bringing it in, this is Selleck over the middle. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. Here's Bull. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. That might just have been the most pressure-filled kick in Super Bowl history, but he stepped up, knocked it through, just like it was a Tuesday practice in July. <laughs> and if it's not the most pressure-filled, it's certainly right among them. A title on the line, and he comes through. Nails. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.